So in this video, I'm going to be showing how uh, to make a basic timer using query performance counter and query qu query query performance frequency. Obviously, a prerequisite is you have to have Windows.h, uh, in which case you need Windows. As far as I know, I don't know if you can use Windows.h on Mac or Linux, but if you can't, you're probably going to have to look for alternative methods. But this method, I'm just going to throw out there in a video format. I'm not going to explain everything. I'm just going to throw it up there in more of a, a C-like implementation, so no classes. Uh, just function calling with uh, references. And um, it's going to be in a double format, so that way it's easier to work with, so you don't have to deal with large integers. Uh, most of it's going to be handled just straight up, so... Introduction's getting too long, so we'll just get right into it, I guess. Okay. And it popped up over here. Aren't you happy camper? First off, obviously, you're going to meet me to main. Uh, whoops. And then you're all set, of course. Whatever you do. Uh, you can have your own coding conventions, I don't care, do whatever. Uh, we're going to make two functions. Um, one's going to be a, a void. Uh, start a counter. We're going to start a counter. As in, we are going to... We're going to take in a couple variables. Uh, a double... Because uh, we want it in a double format, and so we're going to um, make it a reference for more C-like stuff. You can return it if you want, but uh, that, that would save you from having to deal with um, having to deal with adding an extra parameter and then we're going to need a, a starting kind of um, an int to get the quad part of the large integer but to be honest you don't really have to worry too much about it and then we're of course going to need a um, like a Something that's going to get the time elapsed from when you called start counter to the next get counter. Um, if you call two start counters before calling one get counter, obviously it's going to take the last one. Um, of course, it's going to take a double frequency, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a const. Actually, no. I am not. And you can call this as a as a const altogether because we're just accessing the variables. But first of all, it doesn't even know what a int64 is, so of course you're going to include windows.h. And uh, just to show you in the end that it'll work, we'll use an output stream. So first we're going to need a large integer, integer. Uh, I'm just going to call it a large int. And you can check to see if uh, this function fails if you want. Um, I'm just going to sh uh, straight up just call it. Uh, if I can spell it performance holy cow uh, it takes the large integer as the parameter and now we can uh, uh, get it down to a float um, large int dot quad part Divided by a thousand. 
f. Then we're gonna quarry performance counter. I didn't spell it right. And you can speed it up a little bit until I finish up stuff. I'll probably. I'm not gonna explain it, so you might as well get up. I'll leave. I'll leave a link uh, down below. I'll try and make a GitHub repository for it, so you can just grab it and get out of here if you want. Um, that's probably preferable. Uh, okay, and then we're gonna get the counter. Whoa, gonna get the counter start equal to the uh, large integer um, dot quad part. That's that function done. It's really quick and easy. Um, and then uh, we're just going to return a casted double uh, for the large integer um, and its quad part minus the the counter start divided by um, the frequency and so I believe it will go ahead and compile safely after that we're going to create our doubles to pass into these um, of course you're going you're going to actually need this unless you want to find other ways just to not like go ahead you can just inline this if you want not make it into functions uh, we're going to call it performance counter it just seems right to me So we're going to start the counter, not star the counter, and passing in that, and then the counter, start. That's going to start the counter, and then we're going to do um, whatever garbly goop we're going to do here, stuff. And then in the end, we are going to much better. Now we're going to do the git counter uh, with the per performance counter as the first one, and then the counter start. Um, that's going to be in milliseconds. So if you want it in seconds, you're going to have to divide um, by a thousand. Because unit analysis. So you can do whatever. You can uh, get, your gar get your garbage up and going. You can get uh, a for loop. Um... Uh, we're going to need it to actually go for some specific, like, a lot. I don't know. A billion. Was that a billion? I don't know. And then we can just do that. And that should be it. And... And so we're gonna need to pause it first. So which one is 
oh yeah. And so do whatever you want to do to pause it if you want to. See how much time it is. Do your file IO. Whatever you need to do. I'm going to do it. And eventually you're going to get how long it took. Have fun.